Hello friends, myself Dr. Osman. Welcome you all to Dr. Osman's Trends. I believe you and your family are doing well and safe at home. Friends in India, when already second wave of coronavirus has proved to be very much fatal and dangerous, the COVID-19 recovering patients are facing a difficulty with the rare type of black fungus infection. According to doctors, there were many patients who got this black fungus infection. Let us try to know what do we call this black fungus infection and how it is infecting COVID-19 recovered patients. Mycormycosis is a fungal infection that mainly affects people who are on medications for other health problems that reduces their ability to fight surrounding pathogens. This infection occurs due to fungal mold which generally survives on soil, plants, manure or rotten fruits and vegetables. This fungus is available everywhere in soil or air, even it is found in healthy human beings, nose and scrotum. This fungus influences sinus, brain and lungs and it was mentioned by treating doctors that the death percentage due to mucormycosis is 50%. Doctors believe that during the treatment of COVID-19 patients, steroid medications are used. Mucormycosis infection is caused during this treatment. In COVID-19, steroids are used due to lung infections and body's immune system becomes extra active and it fights with any infection but steroids prove to reduce immunity and it increases blood sugar level in patients with or without diabetes. It is believed that the reduced immunity is a major cause of mucormycosis. Doctors also believe that diabetes weakens the body's immune system. Coronavirus helps this infection to grow further and the steroid being used in the treatment of COVID-19 infection proves as an accelerator of this disease. Maximum patients comes to know about this infection very late and till they start taking treatment, it becomes very dangerous that it could infect eyesight and damage to eyes leading to permanent blindness. If we talk about signs and symptoms, then the patients who are diabetic or get infected with COVID-19 get sinusitis, nasal congestion, they experience a black or reddish nasal discharge, there occurs a dark coloration near nose, pain in cheekbone and eyes and swelling in the eyes, their eyelids begins to fall, they also experience one-sided facial pain, toothache and teeth fall, their eyesight goes black. They tend to be feverish and experience skin rashes. Sometimes thrombosis and necrosis also occurs. Along with this, they feel chest pain and upper respiratory tract congestion along with pleural effusion. If we discuss the treatment, then first and foremost, COVID-19 infected diabetic patients are checked with constant monitoring and correlation in blood sugar level is very important. Controlling diabetic ketoacidosis proves to be very much beneficial steroid medications to be used judicially with correct timing, correct dose and correct duration. Immunomodulators used during COVID-19 treatment should be stopped immediately. Humidifiers being used during oxygen therapy are to be used with clean and sterile water. Surgical debridement is done by which the necrotic material can be removed adequate systemic hydrations to be maintained, judicial use of antibiotic and antifungal agents is preferred. After doctor's consultation, an intravenous normal saline is given before giving antibiotic amphotericin B infusion followed by antifungal therapy for at least four to six weeks. Possibly manage patients clinically and monitor them with radio imaging about the status and progress of mucormycosis. Now let us know how to take precautions from getting this infection. Whenever you visit a dusty or construction site, we always have to wear a mask, shoes, long trousers and long sleeve shirts. Whenever you touch the plant or soil or manure during gardening, always wear gloves. Take the best care of your personal hygiene. So friends, I hope this video is informative to you all. We will meet again soon with another informative video. Thank you.